All right, it's another early morning. Just traveled two days, and now I'm in Nevada, or Nevada, or whatever you want to say. So I'm at the Royal Peacock Opal Mine, and we're going to find some opal today. I've already found a couple pieces of petrified wood on the ground. They're opalized, right? But it's common opal. Uh, but once we start finding rainbows, that's some precious opal. And that's what we're looking for today is precious opal. So stay tuned, and we'll see what we find. Someone had left these on the table at another campsite. They look like wood, right? These are rocks. Okay, this is opalized. Like, what? It literally, it looks like pieces of broken wood, like fresh, but it's not. It's opalized wood. So they said we're not going to be able to go digging right now. Maybe they'll let us go digging later if it dries out a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But right now I'm looking around the parking lot for things like fluorescent opal in the tailings. But man, it's a really beautiful property here. Really serene place. A lot of people like to come here just for hiking and biking, taking pictures of birds and stuff. We're kind of in the back of the property now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be, but it's sure pretty here. All right, so these are some chips I found in the parking lot. I put them under their black light, and look, they're fluorescent. How cool is that? You don't even have to pay $50 a pound for it. So this is like the biggest earthworm I've ever seen. The thing is huge. It's just crawling around. Probably not the best place to be right in the middle of the road. Maybe I'll go put them in the grass somewhere so they can dig down. All right, so I've decided to do the tailing piles today. There's two options. You can do the wall or the tailing piles. Tailing piles are a lot less money. And it rained really hard last night, so it just makes sense. Uh, because uh, if you look at the ground here, you can see, look, I didn't even plan this, but look, there's a piece of uh, petrified wood right there. And you can just see how the rocks stick out of the top of the dirt. So they're a lot easier to find after it's rained. There's a lot more mud, but that's okay. We'll see what we find. Huh, just kind of meandering around, doing some surface collecting. This stuff looks kind of cool. So basically they say look for the petrified wood. Sometimes it's opalized. Looks like there's a little vein of opal in there. Neat. So I hit the uh, older tailing piles down at the bottom of the hill and got a lot of petrified wood. I'll show you that stuff later. And now I'm by the wall sifting the very freshest tailings. So that's what I'm doing today. And I don't know that I've really found anything uh, opal wise. I mean, I don't know. Is that opal? I don't know. Found some little chips. That could be opal, maybe. Hmm. Oh, we'll get a better shot. Hmm. Oh. Okay, this one's definitely opal. I was walking around and saw this white stuff, and I guess that's what I'm looking for. No sunlight though, so I can't tell you if there's rainbows or not. I'll tell you later, I guess. All right, so this is what we got on the first day. Tons of nice wood, some of the parking lot opals. Maybe there's some fluorescent ones there. And then we went out and we got these. These are some more wood. And then these look like opal. I don't know if they are. I'm gonna have to get them all checked to figure out which ones really are opal and which ones aren't. And then I'll get back to you with the ones that are for sure. And then there's this stuff. Some more beautiful crystals that suddenly a name escaped my mind. But I did find this. It is a piece of royal opal. I don't know if you can see the rainbows at all. I sure can. They're in the white layer. In the middle next to that brown layer. Oh, oh, there. There you go. Little green. Nice rainbows in there. So that's what we're out here looking for, Royal Opal. Today I'm gonna go attack the wall. All right, so we're at the wall and I spotted my first piece of opal in the wall. It's right here. I'm gonna try and get it out. Like this. All right, I got it out. It's really small. Hopefully we'll find more. All right, so I just made this big pile of boulders. I'm just digging through material. And anytime I see something that looks interesting, I kind of go and check it out. Basically, I'm looking for bits of white because the white stuff is a lot of the times what has the opals in it. Check this out. <laughs> Took a lot of work to prepare, but it's fun breaking the big boulders off the wall to see what's in them. 
All right, so on day two, we found a lot of gypsum, a lot of this white silica material, a lot of which has this nice yellow opal inside. It's really pretty, but it doesn't have rainbows. It's a nice, really awesome limb cast, which just means like a wood replaced with silicate. And then some petrified wood here. In the end of there, there's a tiny piece of opal showing right there, that white fleck. So we know there's some good opal inside of that wood. And it came off of this. You can see where that other white speck is. That's where it was connected, that piece. Check that out. Beautiful yellow opal. We got a nice white bubble of another kind of opal underneath it. Like, how cool is that? This whole thing's all used to be wood. Got replaced by silicates really sweet piece stands like that too well i guess it doesn't i guess it just wants to sit like that forever which is actually how i found it so that's kind of natural pretty sweet here's some black opal the real good stuff you can only see a little bit there the camera's obviously not going to pick up the flash but you can see how it's a little whiter i wish the camera would pick up the flash that'd be really cool a limb cast really neat not seeing any rainbows in this one yet but you never know they might come out not sure what kind of opal that is but probably black opal those pieces need a lot of cleaning just a little sliver of opal there that's pretty not seeing any rainbows in any of these yet but they are very dirty and that one does have rainbows but the rest of them not so much. So I'm gonna keep those in water for today and we're gonna go back to the wall. I'm just super duper enjoying the campground here. It's so beautiful. Yesterday I was the only one here. Today there's a lot more people here and some of my buddies. So we're all gonna go hit the wall together. Haven't been shooting a lot of video cause there's not really a lot going on. I found a little Apache tier. I found a few of these today. I found a couple pieces of opal here and there. But uh, we've moved from the wall to the tailings again because we got kind of tired and uh, I'm just kind of looking around because the sun's out. I'm finding some opals on the floor, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it up. All right, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage for day three at the mine. It's pretty much the same kind of stuff we were doing before, just hitting the wall with a pickaxe, bringing stuff down, uh, sifting through stuff, looking around on the ground when the sun comes out. So let's just get to showing you what we found. Good amount of common opal. These are just, you know, petrified wood, you know, different pieces of wood. Some of them are a little heavier than others. These are some different common opal pieces. Some of them have different colors. Some more of the Apache yellow stuff and the gypsum selenite stuff. Here are the Apache chairs that I found today, which I thought were kind of cool, and some shell casings, which look like interesting calibers. Some more of this beautiful stuff. Jury's still out on what it is. Is it shirt? Is it low-grade black opal? What is it? I don't know. Can't get a straight answer. And then we got the opal and the royal opal. These are the pieces that have rainbows. I don't know if you can see them at all, but I can tell you there's rainbows in these ones. Pretty sweet. And there's this other rock. I thought that was kind of pretty too. All right, so that was the Royal Peacock Opal Mine, and that was what I found. It was a really great adventure. They've got a great campground there, great gift shop and snacks and everything. Um, if you're going to GPS it out there, um, you know, make sure you save the maps. Um, my GPS is like, you've arrived. And I was like three miles on a dirt road away from anything. So I was like really nervous about it because I was towing this with my car down a dirt road and it was sketchy. So like, make sure that you look at the maps and figure out exactly where you're going before you go there. Um, because you will lose signal and there will not be any signal when you go there. Uh, and there's a Wi-Fi area, so you can get Wi-Fi when you go. So that's good. Um, stay tuned for next week's video. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We're going to do Rainbow Ridge on the next video and get some more Opal. Right now, I'm just hanging out. I'm up in Washington right now. 
and I've been doing some stone tumbling. I'm going to get a little bit of work done and enjoy the weather while I'm up here. And then I'm going to get back on the road. So uh, if you guys want to see me when I'm on the road coming up here around September, let me know. And I'll come see you and we'll go do some rock hunting together. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Show your friends. Have a great day.